Let's look at the reaction of oxygen atoms to form oxygen molecules and think about what happens to the total paramagnetism of the sample. Paramagnetic oxygen atoms making paramagnetic oxygen molecules, does the paramagnetic magnetism increase, stay the same, or decrease? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each of the answers. A, O2 molecules are paramagnetic, so the total paramagnetism increases. B, oxygen atoms and molecules are both paramagnetic, so the total paramagnetism is unchanged. Or C, the total number of paramagnetic particles decreases, so the paramagnetism of the sample decreases. Think about those and make another selection. We're looking at the reaction of oxygen atoms to form oxygen molecules and the total paramagnetism of the sample. So oxygen atoms have the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So oxygen atoms are paramagnetic. And they're diparamagnetic. They each have two unpaired electrons. When you form the oxygen molecule, you form molecular orbitals. And here are the molecular orbitals from these p atomic orbitals, and you fill them with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 p electrons. So I'll take these 8 p electrons and make 8 molecular orbital electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I find oxygen, the molecule, is also paramagnetic. So I take atoms, each of which is paramagnetic, and form a paramagnetic molecule. So the total number of unpaired electrons in the sample decreases. I'll have twice as many unpaired electrons when I have oxygen molecules, or oxygen atoms, as I have oxygen molecules. So total paramagnetism in this case decreases.